Hello. Hello and welcome back to Puma's Green Flags, the podcast where we're on a mission to reduce our environmental impact inspired by Puma's Vision 2030 initiatives. I'm Moses Duckrell, former professional footballer turned content creator, and I am currently first in the competition mm. right now with nice two man. green flags, one amber flag. I'm Ollie Brumfield, street style fashion lover from London, and I'm currently second. So I've got like a traffic light situation going on. I've got one green, <laughs> one amber, and one red. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm Maya Letizia. I play football for England and for Man United, and I'm currently last in this competition. Oh, Ooh. don't worry about it. It's all right. It's all right, guys. I play for England. So. <laughs> oh, sorry. You know what? You're, sorry. you're winning in life. <laughs> okay. All right. You win on that one. And although this is a competition, we're learning about sustainable living too. So what's been your main takeaways from the last three episodes, guys? Well, I think mine definitely is that leather's made from a cow. I feel like also, speaking of leather, like how they're kind of making like fruit and vegetables as like a leather alternative. I feel mm. that's a really cool initiative that they're trying to make happen. That one really spun my head as well. Yeah. I think for me, it was finding out that polyester actually doesn't like, mm. decompose. It just yeah. breaks down into smaller like, microfibers. So for me, that was mind blowing. I yeah, didn't know that. Crazy. And there's still so much more to learn. We've got two more challenges left. And last week, Puma told us what we'll be doing this week. So I'll read out the message that they sent. You ready? Yeah, ready. let's go. Green flag contestants. That's us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At Puma, we've made strides to minimize our reliance on fossil fuels. We've installed solar panels at Puma HQ in Germany, and we've worked with our suppliers to help them buy and use renewable energy, install solar panels as quickly as possible, and phase out coal. As a result, we have supply factories running rooftop solar panels in many places all over the world. Ooh, the sun never yeah. sets on Puma. Oh, right. got Puma. <laughs> I, like that, I like that. And where it's not possible to install solar, our suppliers buy renewable energy certificates that ensure the energy they use is from renewable sources. Now, 22% of the energy used in our supply chain comes from renewables. And we're looking to increase that to 25% by the end of 2025. Hmm. That's interesting. Yeah, yeah. Why is it so important to actually make that switch into renewable energy? Well, explains it here. Okay, okay. let me know. It says that burning fossil fuels is a major emitter of greenhouse gases. Remember, we learned that from mm -hmm. episode one. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just checking. Yeah, sure. Yeah, we go. yeah. So creating energy from fossil fuels contributes to global warming. But when we create energy from renewable sources, we're creating energy without CO2 being released. Wait, hold on. Is that, is that right? Hold on. Apparently, the global fashion industry is responsible for 10% of all global greenhouse gas emissions. That is crazy. That's huge. That's insane. That really yeah, is insane. Huge. 10%? That's a lot. That is a lot. And that's why we need the sports and fashion industry to make the transition to renewable energy. Sounds like a no-brainer. Why aren't they all making the change? Yeah, I feel like it seems like an easy fix. Yeah. Well, they say here that it's not that simple to switch to renewable energy. And actually, this is something that Puma struggles with too. Firstly, brands like Puma don't actually own their own supply chain. Wait, what does what does supply chain like me? Well, you know, I actually know this. All right. <laughs> well, let us know. Yeah. So they hire other companies to help them make their products, and they can't always control how these other companies invest. They set a lot of rules and protocols, but these things take a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. For example, Puma might want their suppliers to install rooftop solar panels, but their buildings might not be suitable to support them. Mm, that's interesting. I feel like outside looking in, it seems easy, but I guess renewable energy isn't as easy as it looks, especially like running a whole factory off a solar panel probably isn't the same as my mom's garden lights, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it sounds like making the switch is really tough, but it's definitely doable, right? Yeah. But I wonder how hard it is to make okay. renewable energy. Here we go. <laughs> Which leads me <laughs> to the challenge for us today. Maya? Do you want to do the honours of reading the challenge? Absolutely. Green flag contestants. For your next challenge, you're going to be generating your own electricity in the studio. Oh, gosh. Ooh. Not much space. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Each of you will be given a different bit of kit and we'll see how much energy you can generate in one hour. One hour? One hour. It's quite a while, isn't it? I mean, right, it could be a lot, right? Yeah. Right. Have you ever made your own electricity before? I actually have done it once. This was like back in the day oh. at camp. I was about 13 mm. and we was in this like camper van and we had to kind of like generate our own electricity to make like dinner. So mm. on the stove, I was on the bike sweating away. Oh no. Uh, <laughs> was making spaghetti and I feel like it gave al dente a whole new meaning, mm -hmm. which you know wasn't great. Should we find out what we're all going to be using? Come on. Okay. Yeah. Drum roll, please. Drum roll, okay. please. Okay. So Maya, you will have a solar panel. 
I'll Ooh. take that. Mm. As long as that's going to get me a green flag, I don't mind. I always see them on the top of houses anyway, but... Uh, Looks pretty cloudy. You get your own there. personal it's ones. Today. It's December right now, so I'm not yeah. too sure how much energy. And we're in England. Yeah, yeah. I'm not too sure how much energy you're going to have. Hopefully, the sun's just coming, beaming through them clouds. But then, Oli. Okay. Quick drum roll, quick drum roll, quick drum roll. You're going to be using a static bike. Oh. Your experience, okay, your experience, I'm, though. I'm throwing it back. That's what I'm trying to say. But I feel like I do hate cycling. Um, I feel like I hate it then, still hate it now. And these jeans? Yeah, I was thinking about how you're gonna cycle them jeans. <laughs> how would I mess up the ombre? You look nice though, to be fair. <laughs> wait, 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 hold on. Oh my God. What? Okay. All right, so no drum roll needed for this, guys. Oh God. <laughs> Puma's given me a potato. What, for, lun for lunch or? Nah, to, oh. to generate oh, electricity. What are you gonna do okay. with that? I mean, how? How do you generate electricity from a potato? I have absolutely no idea. They're definitely sabotaging me. I don't, <laughs> because I'm at the top right now. They're feeling like you guys need some points. I get it, but same Don't time, doubt the potato. You never know. I want to win. Okay? <laughs> I want to win. But it says here that you can generate an actual electrical current from a potato. Oh, okay. Did any of you ever like, try it in school? Science projects or anything um, like that? No. I just probably eat them as fries. Fries? Yeah, I like mashed potatoes more. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but... Apparently for this, I won't be mashing it. won't be having fries either. So they say they'll give us one hour to generate as much electricity as possible using our equipment. That's quite a long wait, time. Wait, wait, wait. Apparently our time's already started. Oh, God. Well, I don't know. Where's where, not going to change? Where, where's, my, where's my potato? <laughs> where's my bike? <laughs> okay, okay, wait. Right. Okay, listen. We'll be back in an hour. I'll see All right? you guys in back an hour. Back in an hour. Right. We'll see you then. Okay, so I'm taking my solar panel and I'm setting up by this big window to let the sunlight onto it. Then I'm going to connect it to this very fancy board which tells me how much electricity my panel is generating. And then, that's it. I just sit there and watch those numbers tally up. How are you getting on over there, Mo? Well, I'm not going to lie, I feel like I'm in a GCSE science class. But I'm putting these metal prongs into my potato and then I'm setting up using crocodile clips and this bit of kit called a, a multimeter, which measures electrical currents. I guess it's working now and it's done. So I just sit here and wait for now, right? How are you getting on over there, Oli? <sighs> okay, well, I've been on my bike for about five minutes now. I'm not gonna lie, I'm already pretty exhausted. I don't know if I can keep it up for another 55 minutes. Is this what a spin class is actually like? So, Oli's on the bike. Um, is, that, is that hooked up? Is that how you generate it's an hooked electricity? Up. I'm yeah. the Green Flags lab rat today. <laughs> you okay? You good to go? I'm, I'm going, yeah. Breathing a bit heavy. But you know what? Uh, okay. I've put see that. the energy in for all of us because you guys are sitting down not doing much, are you? Hey, my solar panel's actually working quite hard right now. Oh, you got the solar panel sorted out, yeah? Mm. Everything all good? All good, yeah. However, it is December, so uh, Don't worry we're about not quite sure how that will go. Well, listen, I've got a potato, so I'm not too sure about Ooh. how that's going to go. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to yeah. say? Mix some chips with that, though, can't you? <laughs> 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 I mean, it feels like Ollie's probably going to make the most energy out of both of us, but mm. he's, he's going to be on the bike for an hour, though, to be fair. That's, that's quite a long time, insane. isn't it? I'm getting my workout in. You don't need us for an hour. Oh, wait, hold on. He's, he's got <laughs> jeans. How are you going to cycle for an hour it's with It's fashion jeans? over function, always. <laughs> fashion, I like that. It's a bit of fashion over function. Well, um, I don't feel like waiting an hour mm, me neither. to, you know, watch you. I don't feel like being on this for an hour. <laughs> but you know what we're going to do? I feel like we should just go grab a coffee. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. definitely. I think that's a great idea. Without me. Guys, um, I thought we we was can get you one if you want. The Three Musketeers, what's going on? Um, Yeah, but. <laughs> Not for an hour. I feel like you're enjoying oh. yourself on the okay, bike, okay. you know? And my potato is hooked up. I think we should probably hit the <laughs> Yeah, road. that's going on. Yeah, go so, on. Guys, I can't believe you're leaving me. Uh, yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah, yeah, we'll, uh, uh, you know, space something space. at this point, I'm, I was just cycle home. Right. See you later, Ollie. Bye. Ollie. Bye. <laughs> this is dramatic. All right, we're back, and Puma's adding up how much electricity we managed to generate. And whilst we're waiting, how did you both get on? Oh my gosh, I am <laughs> exhausted. <laughs> I feel like I didn't like it back then, I don't like it now, mm -hmm. I'm not doing it again. Like you thought you got sabotaged. I'm not did the full spin class. Well, you look good though. You still look good. Thank you. You're looking, you know, quite sharp. <laughs> How'd you get on? Mine was actually great. I didn't have to do anything, but... It's going to be interesting to see just how much you actually generate. Mm. Yeah, but I'm, I'm feeling confident that that is hey, going to beat me. Hey, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. That potato has a name. <laughs> <laughs> this is Bill. Billy, mm -hmm. Mr. Potato Head. Oh, All right. okay. I have some other... <laughs> Friends, over there friends as well. we have Eric. Okay, yeah. we have Einstein, mm -hmm. and we also have 
Maya and Oli. Oh my God. Shimmer, you know? So hopefully you guys did some, some work for me, <laughs> right? So they're giving me my result first. Okay. Drum roll. Drum roll, please. So apparently, Bill the Potato and I, we generated approximately 0.01 watt hours of electricity. Ooh, that doesn't sound great. Don't worry about how it sounds, right? This is just like okay. the first, you know, this is very like, defensive. Oh, hey. Better than zero. Better than zero. Yeah. Right? Take the positives. I'll take the positives. I like you. <laughs> I like you. All right, May, we'll go with you next then. Okay. Drum roll, drum roll. So, May, you generated 26 watt hours with your solar panel. That's not bad for it's a cloud bad there. Going. there. I mean, it's, it's better than 0.01. I mean, what else could you really expect with Bill? <laughs> Bill the potato. Leave Bill alone. <laughs> and Ollie, that just leaves you. Tell me. Results are in. Drum roll, please. Ollie, you generated a whopping. 52 watt hours of electricity <laughs> on your bike. So a little round of applause, well Ollie. Done, Ollie. You got the green flag Thank for this you. episode. Thank well you. done. Not bad going. But I just feel like you had experience. From I was before. training yeah. for this. Yeah, from 13 years yep, old. I was training for this moment. Insane. <laughs> right. And I feel like we got sabotaged in a yeah. sense, right? Well, me more so than you. But hey, congratulations. Thank I'm not hating. Very, very much. I support you. You're doing <laughs> your thing, right? So that's a red flag for me. An amber flag for me. And a green flag for Ollie. Thank you very well much. I'm coming for you. Still one more challenge to go to. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you know what I mean? But what does that actually mean? Obviously it's great, I got a green flag, but like all that electricity we just made, what do you think we could actually like power mm. with that? That's a very interesting question that. And I'm about to get the results right now. Let us know, let us know. Okay, so it looks like the answers are here. Mayor, the amount of electricity you generated with your solar panel could charge a phone approximately twice. I'll take that. That's that's that is that's really good. Pretty decent, to be fair. Yeah. Good. Strap it to your back on a night yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe not a night. <laughs> and Oli, the amount of electricity you generated with your bike could charge a phone approximately four times. That is wow. really so double the amount. Good. Which is yeah. Very decent. Mm -hmm. Very decent. Mm -hmm. And with my potatoes, I could charge a phone for approximately six seconds. Wow. Okay. Well, it's not quite a portable charger. <sighs> yeah, but. It doesn't look like we're going to be making a change to potato power anytime soon. Ooh. So I have to say sorry and goodbye to my uh, lovely friends. potato friends Einstein's on the table right gone. here. Goodbye, Eric. Goodbye, Einstein. <laughs> it's emotional. I'm going to make you into mashed potatoes later. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so, obviously, Puma aren't suggesting we unplug from the grid and rely on potato batteries, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't think that would work. Mm -hmm. But... They do want us to think about where we get our electricity from. For example, in the UK, you can switch to energy companies that use 100% renewable energy. So is that something that you guys would be up for? Yeah, it's for like sure. a simple solution, like an easy way to make a difference. Yeah. And Puma is trying to influence their suppliers to use as much renewable energy as they can too. But as we know, it's not that simple because of all the companies in their supply chain. But they have some targets that they're keen to hit as part of Vision 2030. Yeah, that's great. Okay. Should we add up our, our flags now? Let's, Let's add them do up. it. Ollie. So currently you have one amber flag. Yep. One red flag. Yep. And two green flags. A little round of applause for that. Right? I'm feeling very confident. I've really drawn it back. <laughs> that cycling was definitely worth it. It was worth it. Seems <laughs> like a head <laughs> right? right? Mayo, what about you? I have got two amber flags and mm -hmm. two red flags. Ooh. So you have to get a green. That's a little bit. Mm, don't mm. worry, we've still got another challenge. It's true. And I have one red, one amber. And two greens. Okay, we're joined. So you are joined right now. Joined. I mean, I crawled it back. A bit too close for comfort for me. Yeah. Yep. Feeling a little bit. I can feel right the trophy now. in Gosh. his hands right here. Okay. Oh, okay. I have next week's challenge right here. Do you want to see what else? Oh, please. Yeah, just let us be? know. Do you want to Yeah, come on. All right. May I hold this for me, please? Interesting. Okay. Oh. Oh, I feel like this is kind of up my history. Mm. <laughs> I'm really confident. I have to get my creative skills on. So if you guys want to see what's in this text, then make sure you join us next week for the final episode of Green Flags. And in the meantime, if today's episode has inspired you to find out more about how Puma is making the transition to renewable energy, you can follow the links in the show notes. We were also supported in this episode by Electric Pedals, a company specializing in human powered events. We use their database when drawing comparisons between the energy we generated and what it could power. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel to make sure you don't miss anything from us and rate us on your podcast app to help people find the show. And that's all for now. So we'll see you guys next time. See ya. Peace. Peace.